My name's Jeremy Milnes. I'm an expert on Would Like to Meet, where I help people to feel good about themselves. Please remember that, Anne. I'm also the mentor in Fame Academy, and I present The Bachelor. Now, take a look at these. Now, you might be forgiven for thinking that they're peppercorns, but no, none of it. These are actually stones that have been removed from patients' bodies, and if you've got them, very, very painful they can be. Can't they, Ida? I don't there know. you go. How will you feel then, Ruby, if I'll be sad. you don't make it? I'll be sad, but I know. You know what I mean. So, so you're almost expecting it to happen. Yeah. And how will you feel if it doesn't happen? And all, you know, contrary to all your expectations, you're back in tomorrow. I, I just don't know. I really don't know. Do you want to be here tomorrow? I like to be here, but then I also have a good time in my real life too. You know, it's not like <laughs> it's not like I'm a sad person. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? I have, I have a life. Isn't that weird? Today, Steve knows that he can have a heart attack at any moment. A vein to his heart has become dangerously narrow. Now, this morning, I'm in catheter labs with Dr. Redwood, who's going to be using a high-tech laser to blast away the blockage. And Steve will be awake during the whole procedure. When you move house, it's often the case that you have to say goodbye to your family and friends. But Sean and Julie have thought about this because his parents live in Surrey, her parents live in the Isle of Wight, and where we are is right in the middle. Perfect. If you're thinking about downsizing, you've got to take into account the practicalities of life. Now, at the moment, Sean and Julie live in Surrey, where all the amenities are right there at their fingertips. If they move to Wiltshire, things could be very different. So they've got to look into this before they sign on the dotted line. I'm in the surgery with Mr. Glass and uh, Lorna, who's having a kidney stone removed. I'm going to be you know, chatting with him and seeing how the procedure's going. But I want you to take a look at these. These are real stones that Mr. Glass has removed in his career. They are huge, but this one is unbelievable. That is the size of a pebble, listen. And it's very, very heavy. Extraordinary. So, Jeremy, are you going to tell me exactly why we're here? Yeah, I will, Sue. It's, uh, it's a rather special night at this supermarket. Because it's Valentine's Day, it's singles night, and all the people here are wearing different colour badges. Now, red, Sue, means they're, they're here to shop. Mm -hmm. But amber and green, well, that's got a different meaning. Amber means, yeah, they're open to people talking to them, and green means they're really ready for action, which is what you are, I can see. No. No. So you're going to be going up talking with people? No, I'm not. Yeah? <laughs> no, I'm not. Feeling good about this? No, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to I Want That Holiday, the show that sorts out all your holiday worries. It's for people who just cannot make up their mind about where to go. So if you want the decision taken out of your hands and are prepared to take just a little gamble, we might just be able to help you. Now this is how it works. You give us your money and in return we'll book the flights, the hotel, even the day trips. You don't even have to choose the destination because we do that for you. It's just part of the service. So if you fancy a bit of adventure, a taste of something new, give us your money, pack your bags and go. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I really am not looking forward to this at all. OK. Well, we're going to see how we go. I've got my walkie-talkie. OK. I'll be listening and I'll be watching. So let's go and good luck. So gentle. Hmm. God. Although I was very pleased for Helen, there was one thing troubling me. It was my turn next. There she goes. Yeah, yeah she likes you. No problem at all. There you go. Well done. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> See? It's not that bad, is it? I never thought in all my life mm -mm. that I would ever get that close to a tarantula. And go up, I say would hi. Be remotely interested in. Go on. No. Never in a million years. Sorry, I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> OK, easy to answer no, questions. They can be closed it. questions. Do always just require a yes and a no to begin with because small talk can lead to big talk. I can't All do right? it. So, I'm you sorry. Go. <laughs> I can't it. Welcome to Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your bachelor you, home. Jeremy? I'm How well, you, I'm well. Good to see Look you. Look at this place. I cannot believe it. Shall we? I cannot believe it. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Yeah, I think I can get used to this. You can get used to this. <laughs> I don't you. think many of the women are going to like this, are they? Hey, listen, it, <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably one of the most romantic oh, places I've ever seen in my life, don't you think? I think it's safe to say, yeah. <laughs> How around. many people do you think we get in the jacuzzi? <laughs> How many people do you want in the jacuzzi? That's the question. Oh, no, this is but, um, absolutely stunning. <laughs> Look at that. It's brilliant. Look at that. Right, soon. I don't want to do this. These are, I don't want to do it. What's difficult for you? I don't like talking to people I don't know and I don't like the look of. I just don't, I have nothing to say to them. I don't want to do it. How will you ever get to know somebody if you have that attitude? I would talk to them if they looked like they were the sort of person that I would be interested in talking okay, to, but this not is, just this is anybody. Just, okay, I understand that, but this is just a practice, okay? We're not actually going out looking for a date now. What we're doing now is just to work on you being comfortable approaching people and just practicing small talk. What do you imagine that would be a common ground between you and anybody else here? Nothing. Are you telling me that you only meet people who go to certain places and that everybody else is off limits? No, but there's a good chance that they would be. Why do you assume that? To experience, I suppose. You're making assumptions before you've actually got into a conversation with somebody. Mm. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, OK, so we've got to get past those assumptions. Well, it's I just... don't like Valentine's Day. Do you mind, why don't you like, what, what is it? It reminds me of my husband. Okay. There you go. <laughs> now, Graham, just talk me through this one. You've been in hospital two, three days? Three days, uh, Three came days. in on Saturday afternoon. With? With my friends. I've been drinking in Covent Garden and um, I was struggling to do this at the time, so I thought I'd better get myself You couldn't, You couldn't have a pint? I couldn't lift my pint, no. So I'm worried, I... stop, my heart's, my heart's racing. Why was that? What was the, what was the problem? I think it was my round next, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, used that one before. My yeah. arm was getting stiff and yeah. um, it was swollen. Got an infection in the elbow just here and it was... Five people are about to enter this house to play a game. A game that could end with one of them leaving here £10,000 richer. The question is, how far are they willing to go for the money? Are they prepared to beg, borrow and steal? <laughs> so, Alice, Alice, you spent the whole night with him. What happened? Um, what, when, how did, well, I, you know. how did I get out of the villa? <laughs> what happened in the room? Um, we talked for a long while. All right. You look like the sort of person who would talk for a long time, no, Alice. seriously, we did talk for a long time, because I was astounded that I actually could have a conversation with someone that long. Right. Any, <laughs> dare I say, physical contact, Alice? And um, some. Some. What type of physical contact, Alice? We kissed. Oh, then? We carried on kissing. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> I don't think it was, was it, Alice? Exactly, tell us, yes. we want to know. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You are not, in my eyes, a failure. I don't even use well, the word. I can't word. do the task listen, that you've set me. I don't even use the word, really. And I don't want you to think of, it, of yourself like that at all, ever. So, ever. how do you describe yourself, Jeremy? Um, an expert in would like to meet and in fame academy and... Trained, are you? Uh, well, it depends what you call trained, Anne, really. Trained? Uh, it's very difficult, actually, to have a training in buildings. Yes people's or no? I would guess yes, Anne. <laughs> Why Anne? Well, what do you want me to call you? <laughs> Why have you voted for Anne? Oh, uh, right. Um, because, I, you know, I felt that... Have you Andy... found a girlfriend yet? I have, you were having trouble. Yes, yes. No, I have. I Do you remember lot... you told me off stage you couldn't find a <laughs> girlfriend to save your life? You asked me, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> you... That's not a smile and a laugh, is it? <laughs> 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 a grin cracking across no, that no, face of yours? No, no, it's a professional sneer. <laughs>